I practiced my suturing. <laughs> it took forever. Is that a little hair? Take that out. So I practiced my suturing with the suture kit that I got for Christmas. Shout out to my sister. And then now I'm doing you world questions. So the next day was a surgery day. Um, after orientation, I went to the surgery center and I was able to scrub in on my first case, which was a breast augmentation. Then the next day, here are some of the sample um, silicone implants that she reviews with the patients during consultations or even post-ops so the patient can get an actual feel of the implant they're gonna receive. Here's just a general view of um, one of the rooms and she was about to do a melanoma excision. Here's this device that really um, details your skin in different lighting. That was really cool because they do a lot of aesthetics at the plastic surgery clinic. Um, here's just more examples of the different size range of the silicone implants. And that's the fit check. And I also worked with the nurse. Um, she does um, nipple reconstruction. She does the tattoo nipples. So I thought that was really cool. And here's another fit check of the next day. And here are some breast implants that are more textured for people who have looser skin or not a lot of um, breast tissue. And here's just me studying. Um, can't really get that much study in. <laughs> And then that's me grabbing some gloves. And the last day was a facelift. So that was plastics. <laughs> First day of general surge. I really have to vlog on my phone because I just don't even have room in my book bag to have my camera. But it's 5.30 um, or a little bit after. I'm walking to the hospital right now. The surgery doesn't start, let me get the light. So I don't have to scrub it until like 6.45, 6.50, but I'm going to the hospital to study in the physician's lounge because studying has been so difficult third year because you're working and usually the hours you would study, you're working. So you have to either study before or after your shift. And for me, I definitely have to study before because afterwards I already know I'm going to be exhausted um so yeah first day on general surge they just did some renovations they look really nice um so now I'm just about to do U world and Anki and study for like an hour so my computer was not charging when I thought it was mm, so I'm gonna just do as many Anki cars as I can my Anki remote my Anki remote literally like keeps malfunctioning for some reason. So I ordered a new one. It's supposed to be coming Tuesday. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just do as many Anki cards as I can, then do a little bit of UWorld, but I have my iPad so I could do some UWorld on my computer, but I might actually just shut down my computer because I might need it to look at patient charts, but I can do it on like the actual computer that has computers here. So I don't know, I'm gonna do a few Anki cards, shut down my computer, save the little energy it has, and then study more. Can you the first shift, y'all, was so rough. Um, it was just back to back to back to back cases. We were hopping from OR1 or 4 or 13 or 12. Like, I was just not expecting that. And we literally had no lunch break um, for eight hours. Not a lunch break, not a bathroom break, not even a fart break. Not even a fart, Lord. Whew, it was rough, very rough. This is my first time seeing daylight, and it's like 4 p.m. Um, so I'm starving. My head hurts. I'm like, oh my gosh, why did I sign up for this? <laughs> yeah, first day was really rough. So now I just went home and reviewed my U-World and ate dinner. Like, I was just so over today. I was like, Ugh. 
this was not super fun but a lot of the cases were gallbladder removal so they were laparoscopic cholecystectomy and then um some other cases but it was rough it was rough but i did close for the first time i sutured by myself wow for the first time um so that was a good accomplishment so yeah So it's day two of my general surgery rotation and yesterday I couldn't even put much in the vlog because literally the moment we scrubbed into one OR case it was back to 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 back so yeah I'm about to just have like a protein shake like in my pocket or something uh and keep it on me because I can't I just can't do that um but it's day two I'm getting to the hospital super early I'm gonna try to get there at four so I can study for about an hour and a half then I have to round on one of the patients um that had a cholecystectomy they had their gallbladder removed so I have to do a round on them and um just do a physical exam see how they're doing see how they're post-op treatment and care has been going then i have to write a progress note and like i've been crying so much my eyes are literally so red so i'm trying to use these faded topicals so that it can just like i'm first of all i'm still breaking out from step but yeah some things i was gonna do that in the week so yeah Mm, so about to head to the hospital and study because I'm not going to fail this shelf exam I still have a shelf exam to take you have to study for yourself like like you know you have to teach yourself everything so I'm just teaching myself like I already like you just accept your that fate of third year at this point so that's what I'm about to do so I was able to actually put some stitches in someone um they wasn't they weren't bad I, mean, I did a simple buried suture um so yeah proud of myself because I literally just learned how to suture on the with the suture kits with the pads so literally like last week two weeks ago didn't know how to suture at all the beginning of the year So I just looked up some information about the patient I'm about to go see who had her gallbladder removed. She had a cholecystectomy. And then I also looked up the patients I'm gonna be working on today with another surgeon. Um, and I just put my stuff in these lockers. Um, the doctor I worked with before, the plastic surgeon, she allowed me to use her locker to put my stuff in, in the OR, cause she has her own locker in the OR like all the doctors who um, do surgery at the hospital. But I think this is a little bit more secure because um, you have to have a cold to get into this area. Let's go find this patient. I'm so Vlogging is so hard, y'all, because the coolest things we do and see, obviously, I cannot record. <laughs> so, um, it's mostly best for me to do, like, these voiceovers and just describe what I'm doing because y'all not about to have me in jail for any type of violations. But the week ended up going pretty okay. It wasn't that bad. Um, I did enjoy a lot of the surgeries and it was pretty cool. 
um, just to see the start and finish and how they close everything up. I really love the surgical text and the nurses. 